inside the locker room on. Anthony and Jay inside the locker room on. Anthony and Jay in this corner. In this corner. We got in. We got in. In this corner. In this corner. We got Jay. We got Jay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Inside the locker room on Anthony and Jay 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 Inside the locker room on Inside the locker room on
I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. I do. Jim Brown was third of you. I have a problem with that. Jackie Robinson was second behind my group. That's bad. I think my majority was she I think Jackie Robinson is crazy about that three four five. Because of what he stands for. Yeah. yeah. Everything he did. But the, the funny part of all of this is the argument about Tiger Woods, it should Tiger Woods be on that list. He actually should be on that list. Yeah. People from not being on that list, you can definitely see that in my opinion, that it's, you know, a, a biased list. It's not being objective at all. It's being definitely subjective towards uh, some of the statements he may have said in the past about who he is as, a, as an African American or not being an African American. African um, he definitely should be on that list. Um, whoever made it up, I'm not sure who did. Um, they, they, what they did was they they chose, they did a survey of 10,000 people. Mm-hmm. The survey had three specific categories. Popularity, social impact, impact on the sport. Mm-hmm. So that's the criteria they mm-hmm. used. And yeah, that's the that's reason why he should definitely be on that list because impact on the sport. Yeah. Not unless they, they, they consider golf a hobby and not a sport. If golf is a sport, he should be on that list because he, he has the most influence whatsoever in regards to golf. People watch golf. Prior to Brock, Tiger Woods being there, golf was pretty much not existent. Yes, you heard the legends like Jack Nicholas and uh, Greg Norman and all those guys. Nobody really cared about those guys until Tiger came on the scene. Well, here, here's the other thing Tiger did. Tiger expanded the sport so that black people play. Yeah. That's all mean. Golf was primarily a white sport, wasn't it? Black people. And the league was. And the league was. was. And, and, was. was. Yep. and you weren't playing golf unless you had money. And then people who a relative means started to get out and play golf because of Tiger. So I agree with you 100% that Tiger Woods should be uh, he should absolutely he should be on that list. Also working backwards, suspensions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's valid suspension. suspension. Boy, boy, boy. Valid. 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 Suspension. Valid. We're going to go. We're going to go. Valid. Is the valid. 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 But well, we're gonna do a game or two. Oh, that means you're not playing the G-Men game. Uh, one. Uh, yeah. So you might as well pay it up against the Giants. You might have a third loss to them, bro. So, uh, so how does that feel? Uh, can, 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 all right. I'm just asking the question. <laughs> how does that feel? All right. So working feels great. Working for it. Exactly. <laughs> so all those who don't know, Zeke Elliott was suspended by the NFL for six games um, under the domestic violence clause, mm-hmm. uh, whatever the clause was, whatever the reason is they gave him six games. And now he's filed an appeal, and his hearing is August 29th, with the decision to come a little later, that, from what I heard, by September 2nd, 3rd, 4th, something like that, yeah. and try to make a decision. So there will just be a decision made before the season starts. I think I'm listening to the lawyer for Greg Hardy who went through this last year. Greg Hardy got his cut from 10 to 4. Mm-hmm. Zeke is already at 6. You're right. Probably just cut to two, maybe three. So he's definitely not going to be there for week one and week two. Mm-hmm. Um, very conflicting reports on the girl. Yeah. First, you know, first you saw some pictures pop up that allegedly could be the girl. Uh, never seen pictures of her face, never any real confirmations of possibly what Ezekiel Elliott did in regards to domestic battery against this woman. Um, but then there's also. Um, rumors have it that she's purposely trying to defame his name because of the obvious reasons that, you know, since she's white and he's an African American. Um, touchy topic, um, but for him to put himself in that type of predicament, um, I'm only going to say when there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah. So, not to say that he put his hands on her, but he got let it get to a certain level where he could put himself in a compromising situation, which he should not have done since he. You know, you're pretty much the, you know, a young face of the NFL right now. So, you know, there's still more to come to find out what's really true, what's not. But I think that he's definitely going to serve a suspension. He's not going to get off all you Dallas fans out there. No, no he's, fans, he's going to be suspended. No, he's, he's going to miss multiple games. Yeah, he's going to so, do four games. You know, it's, it is what it is. He's going to do four games. And then that Cowboys is going to win three. Yeah. He has to grow up. I mean, you know, I, I'm saying he's a young guy. Um, but you have to grow up really quickly when you become a professional athlete. Um, guys, you know, you guys, you know, in, in the sports world, you're, you know, committed to Bryant. Once you become a, you know, a student athlete of Bryant University, you're going to have a spe- special responsibility of uh, representing that school. So, you know, whether you're off campus, on campus, there's always going to be a, 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 
in my high school always lost to you. So um, whether you're a college athlete, professional athlete, even in high school, um, people hold you to higher standards, whether it comes to your grades, um, your conduct, um, the responsibility of people looking up to you, whether it's younger, your peers, or even, you know, adults, people that expect a lot out of you. So uh, just do the right thing. Yeah, you know, just do the right thing. And I, I think that's all it is. I think he did do the right thing, and now it's coming back to bite it because he became a mega star. Mm -hmm. He just become a star. Yeah. He became a mega star. He then NFL rush last year. Yeah. He won't do it. He won't do it this year. No, he's going to miss four games. So. Well, even if he was there the whole season, he won't do it. My, my guy is three games on his call. Your guy's on this sometimes too. Yeah, he's gonna sign. We're gonna sign. Oh my We're gonna sign. We're gonna sign. Le'Veon Bell is going to be We're gonna sign Le'Veon Bell. Yes, everybody. What we're talking about is Le'Veon Bell not signing with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He wants fifteen million a year. Pittsburgh had twelve million up there in the last minute. He declined that offer. Um, we need him in camp. I'm not gonna say that we don't need him in camp, but the rest, since he has been injury prone, um, I think it's a, it's, it's a blessing in disguise. Not that I'm a fan. I just think that we don't need any extra licks on him. We need him healthy for the beginning of the year. So I think we'll sign him before the season starts, and he'll be ready. He turned out a huge contract. Yeah, but he deserved it. I, he, I think he deserved he, For the last two seasons, he's caught over 75 passes. 75 passes. That's better than most receivers. So he's definitely a hybrid player. He's, he's not normal. He's not the typical running back that you have. He gained well, the old, over a thousand yards rushing, and he's getting over a thousand receiving every single year. I, I, I agree. With you. So you have to pay that man. Steelers, let's be smart, man. Come on now. Uh, I, uh, I watched the Jets last night for a few minutes. Yeah, they oh, they if the right. Jets win a game. It would be a miracle. Yeah, they were they worse than Cleveland this year. Yeah, the okay. Jets are by far the worst football team. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 I was watching that last I was like, is this a real football team? They might lose to Grand High School. They'll definitely lose Alabama or Florida State. Yeah. yeah. Alabama and Florida State play the first game of the year. That's September that's, 7th. That's ridiculous. That's an option. And Atlanta's an option. Why don't you put them two, play, two teams at the beginning of the season? Alabama, I mean, I didn't even need a marquee, but come on. Alabama's ranked number two, and Florida State's ranked number three. Who's number one? Uh, Ohio State. Uh, Ohio State, there. Yeah. Start the season. I didn't know those two played each other so early, but they do. Uh, that would be interesting. There was a fight last night. Did you watch any of the fight? No, I did not. I went to bed early, and uh, I feel bad. I, I actually watched some of it today. I actually, did watch, I actually did watch the fight, the Crawford fight. I stayed up on my seat. Terrell Crawford? Yeah, he punched him in the stomach. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Did he punch somebody in the stomach? You know what I'm saying? Terrell Crawford is the real deal. He's a professional well, boxer. He, he, he punched him in the he stomach. Gave, he gave him a, a little shot. What you no, he punched him in his stomach. It went on his eye. It was directly in his stomach. Hey, man. Like a little kid. Dude, fell out. Yeah. It must have hurt. Terrence Crawford is the real deal. I call him the mini Mike Tyson. With, 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 with boxing skills. With power. He punches with intent tomorrow. Yeah, he's, he's for real. He's for real. That's why he made him look retired. Man, was, uh, and, oh, yeah. That's what he made him This up. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, and I yeah. think, and I might be crazy, and you guys can call up and comment on Facebook and tell us what you think. I think McGregor has a bunch of shots within, within the first three rounds. Oh, oh, yeah. But then the first oh, three oh, rounds. Oh, 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 oh. Stop. <laughs> must, if you technically, yeah, I'm not saying something crazy. Technically, everybody has a bunch of chance. Well, all my boxing aficionados there, all my friends that are professional fighters or that are in the fight game, Sky Moore, Fred Jr. Kid, look, please call up the station and tell me to stop it right now. <laughs> He's all been crazy right now. Everybody knows that Mayweather is in the dance around with Gregory, but Gregory does not have a shot of doing anything at just all street boxing. Nah, nah, nah. This, this fight is a joke, it's a service. It's entertaining, so a lot of people will be tuning into this fight to see what really happens if McGregor can be disciplined enough to truly box and not do any rough house tactics. Um, but other than that, there's no way that McGregor can win with anybody now. You know that. Yeah, I don't. I think McGregor, and within three rounds, I'm not saying for the whole fight. So because he beat up his sparring, Paul Malinaji, Paulie Malinaji. <laughs> You could have been, you could have been, he's from Brooklyn. That's that showtime, man. I'm in that town. Yeah. 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 See the tickets when I was yeah. last week. He's from Brooklyn. Anyway, um, he's, 
a, a, a junior uh, Wolves away fighter, you know, mm-hmm. about 135, 137-pound guy. Okay. And then probably whether it's weight class, a little bit lighter uh, for the most part. Um, have, you know, he's fought some good people. He's been a uh, multi belt champion. Um, but he got beat up and roughed up by McGregor in Spartan. So everybody made a big deal out of that. It means absolutely nothing. Who knows what went on in Spartan session, what, what type of uh, you know, rough tactics he was doing to Paul and on IG. And Paul is obviously not Mayweather. Mayweather is, has the record for most wins without a loss. He's number one when it comes to that category. People can't hit him. I don't care if he's 40 years old. Yes, age will catch up with you, catch up with you. But it's not going to come with a UFC fighter and jumping in the box. I mean, it's not happening, bro. It's absolutely not happening. So I think it's not happening. That's not a conversation. That's okay. okay. the least we need to talk about. I, mean, I, yeah. just, I just think if he is one good punch, you want everybody to have that. It could be... Look at Buster Douglas. Yeah, yeah, one good punch on that. And Tyson on me. And what yeah, what is that? But he had a few. Like he was beating Tyson up for a minute. Uh-huh. In that round. And then he hit him in the mouth. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be interesting though. But that fight is next Saturday. Yes, it is. And then football starts. Really? College football starts the week after. And then NFL starts on some college football. College football, I believe, starts this week. Does it? I think this Friday. Look real good. Yeah, that's a tough sound. That's a week so that's a few. Okay. So, you know, that's what's going on. But when we come back, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we are going to talk all the things in the NFL. And more specifically, we, we have a call. We just want to call in. Yes. And I hope you guys please call up, comment. We'll be talking about the behind the college academy situation. Because this thing is getting really, really big. Yes. A lot of people have different uh, feelings, emotions about the NFL, not supporting the NFL. Should you should, should you support it? Should you not watch? Should you watch? Um, give us a call. Uh, we, we really uh, like to give you guys comments. We want you guys to interact. Uh, so we'll definitely be touching up on this topic because it's been such a passionate thing that people can talk about. And, we're, and I'm going to tell everyone why I think this is my opinion, not an opinion of Jay, not an opinion of the show, not an opinion of the radio station. Why well, I think a boycott is silly. A boycott of the NFL. Okay. An NFL boycott. Why well, I think it's silly. Yes. And it's premise. But, you know, not silly about that we shouldn't boycott, but a boycott in its premise. It's silly. If we're only going to boycott one avenue. Yes. So we'll talk about that, man. Inside the locker room, Jay, Jay, we're here with our. Uh, Interns, Nick and Trinity, WLK 
at least two games, four games at most. And especially if the 160 pages that the NFL supposedly has against the Daniel Elliott, in, so in that report it does state that the girl contradicted her story, yet they don't want to put that out. So I have conflicting feelings about it. Um, at this point, I really don't care very much about Ezekiel Elliott. I think with our own line, it should be okay with our running back. I mean, last night, we decided to fumble the ball at uh, the 10 yard line near the goal line, but I think we'll be fine. But I, I have conflicting feelings about that. Alright, so you have been one of the people on Facebook who have been championing. Oh, not champion. Champion is the long word. We've been talking boycott. And a lot of people have been going around saying that they were going to boycott the NFL, not watch the NFL. My stance has been the same since day one. And I think that boycotting the NFL in its, just itself, just that part of it alone, is nonsense. You're not boycotting the NFL. Mm -hmm. The NFL is probably the large, outside of the government, probably the largest single entity that we have in the United States of America. You're not boycotting the NFL. Mm -hmm. that's, that's just not happening. And why, why aren't you? I, I think you're not doing it for a few reasons. I think one is because the market doesn't say so. You and I talked about this last night with the Jet, and you brought up a great point. The NFL is a private organization. You're not boycotting. I mean, if, if you don't want to watch the NFL, don't watch it. But to think that you're going to get in mass a million people or more to just stop watching them film not why. Well, we did. Yeah. We we did some some. I, I I'm a numbers guy, mm -hmm. you know. And um, we talked some numbers yesterday, and, and uh, we we kind of went over, you know, population uh, by race uh, within the United States, and you know, if you think about it. African Americans, if African Americans are going to be the main people to boycott the NFL, and you're going to get other races to, you know, boycott the NFL because of what they're doing in the Cal category. But let's just say we stick with the African American uh, category here. There's approximately what, what 15 percent, 15, 15 percent of, of the population of, of the population is African American. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, 15 percent of that population, and will probably go up two percent in like five years. Yeah, and then you know of that percentage. Roughly, what do you think probably really watches the NFL as true fans? Three five. Say a third of it. Three five. Third of it. Yeah. Yeah. A third of that. Third of that number really truly supports and watches the NFL. So let's say five percent of the population really supports the NFL. Out of that five percent that really watches it, if you get half, let's say you get half that percent, it's two point five percent. That two point five percent of our of the uh, African American community not watching boycotting the NFL, it's not really going to make a dent to them. That's one of the issues. Issue. Um, what was the other issue you talked about? Man? We talked about boycotting the whole thing. So my argument from day one has been, if you're going to say, I'm not watching the game, I'm going to boycott, I'm not watching the NFL. Because there's some video going around that everybody keeps sending, yeah, sending in my inbox, and I wish yeah. it would stop. <laughs> you know, I just seen on Facebook, someone is doing a group of NFL boycotts on Facebook. Yeah, people are nuts. So, <laughs> my point is, my point is, if you're going to boycott the NFL and not watch the NFL, boycott the, brand boycott the brands that support the NFL. Exactly. You're going to have to boycott, from a, from a marketing standpoint, everything. No yeah, there, there are 32... NFL official sponsors. There are 32 official NFL sponsors. Pepsi, uh, Microsoft Windows, um, um, Frito Lay, um, Hyundai, Hyundai, Nike. Nike. I mean, you're going to have to boycott everything. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to literally say, I'm not boycotting anything. I'm not supporting anything because, because these uh, professional. Uh, uh, sports entities, they survive off of their sponsorship from these other organizations. It's joint partnerships with these organizations. So if you're going to boycott the NFL, you should boycott every single thing. And, associated. and if you have a different point of view, please comment, call, call us, let us know if you think I'm wrong. But in my opinion is, you can't go say, I'm not going to watch the NFL on Sunday. Right? 
So I'm not going to watch any of the games on Sunday. And then you're going to turn around and say, I'm not going to watch the NFL Network. I'm not going to watch ESPN. I'm not going to watch anything football. Mm-hmm. And then you have a Pepsi and a Papa John's pizza. You're going to go to Papa John's. You're going to get a Pepsi and a Honda. You're going to go to Papa John's and get a pizza. And, and, pay, for, and, and pay for it with your pizza card. Yeah. <laughs> and then come home. Yeah. And watch cable. Yeah. You know, with sports and NFL. Like, on the flip side of it, even if they do ban, even if they boycott,
in regards to it. In fact, it, it should be the players who are the players to do this. That's what I said. I said, I think the players, if they really want to make a difference, really make an impact, the players should boycott the NFL. So they say, you know what, we're not playing until team signs cavity, or we're not playing until we get guaranteed contracts. We're not playing until et cetera, et cetera. Because there's a lot of things that the NFL is doing to the players that is not right. It's, it's old school. It's just basically letting these billionaires want you just so you can live out your dream. But are you really living out your dream? Because a lot of them are still nightmare contracts. A lot of them are still dirt poor because, again, they're living outside their means. A lot of them aren't making the money that they thought they would make to support their families. Let's, let's really be honest, guys. A lot of these players are in the NFL, not only in football, but to support families, their families, of God knows how many people. So the boycott affects, it doesn't just affect the billionaires. You're affecting the players more than you're affecting anyone else. But then again, we're not going to make a dent by boycotting the NFL. It's just not going to happen unless the players boycott and white people boycott, which we know is not going to happen. And I, and I think it's a couple of things. Economically, we got to be playing for three and a half years. So it's a very short window that these guys are actually in the NFL. Second, secondly, you know, they're playing with their lives. They're playing with, you know, you just had a guy who fired at 25 the other day. Mm-hmm. So you're playing, you know, they're playing with their lives irrespective of other sports. Mm-hmm. You know, guys getting hurt, head injuries, all that kind of stuff. But I think more importantly, the, again, the pl- protest has to come from inside the NFL. To come from the players, it has to, and I think for us, we have to then decide we're going to protest on the outside by hurting sponsors, not staying at the Marriott. You know what I mean? Look, if you're not interested in, you want cap, and not even cap. I think we walk a slippery slope. We're going to talk about that a little later in the show. We walk a slippery slope and we say cap must be on the team. We've got to put them on the team, like force someone to pick him up. That's a real slippery slope we're playing with. But I think that if we're going to say that, then we can't go stay at the Marriott. Yeah. We can't drive on things. Mm-hmm. We can't use our Visa card. Mm-hmm. We can't buy the bottle John Wings. Yeah. 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 We can't, we, these are things we can't do. Yeah. As a community, as a community, we got to walk in and say, okay, this is the list of sponsors who sponsor the NFL, and we as a community are going to boycott these sponsors. Mm-hmm. Because those are the people that will make an impact on the NFL. Financially. It's the same thing to me as the government. The biggest thing that happened with the government, with, with President Trump, is not his Brandon Raven and all of his racial antithesis that's going on. It was the fact that that council broke up. And once that council broke up, that corporate council, now people who have money, who make decisions in this country, jobs and otherwise, create change. Those are the people who create change. Those are, you know, the lawyers that have that. Yeah. So it's an interesting dynamic, man. If you guys think that the players that we should boycott the NFL and not watch, man, let us know. Give us thoughts on how you think. And, and then if you think that, tell us how the boycott should happen. Because just not watching is not a boycott. Just not watching. I agree. Yeah, I, 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 and I, you gotta go forward if you're gonna do it. And, and I admit, I admit, we're biased. Mm-hmm. I'm not biased. We have a sports show. We have a sports radio show. And we have to cover the NFL. Yeah. So I'm biased. So I'm watching based on the fact that I have a sports radio show that's going to cover the NFL. Yeah. Just like the NFL players are biased and in their best interest, want to continue to play and not lose those game checks. Mm-hmm. Regardless of what Kaepernick is going through. Yeah. Even though they're the ones that should be showing that solidarity and that togetherness of supporting his cause if they feel the same way, instead of being quiet or not rocking the boat, so to speak. Now, what I do like, and Martin, tell me if you feel the same way, what I do like is other players are standing with players. Yeah. Yeah. Even in small gestures, yeah. putting their hands on yeah. people's shoulders. Yeah. And uh, what's the, uh, the lion's name? With Brett. Yeah. Brett. Yeah. Brett. Brett. Yeah. You know, with, with Long Dead, uh, out of Philadelphia, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, with Jane yeah. MJ. Yeah. That, 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 those are the big steps. Mm-hmm. And, and so, okay, big steps. Yeah, you know, so I think those are those are the start of the NFL having to take a look at this. 
everybody knows what happened in Charlottesville. Tragic situation, tragic uh, yeah. uh, thing that happened, and with the new regime uh, within the White House, um, we've had different groups um, on, on both sides um, being you know, positive and or negative, uh, showing negative energy in regards to race and our relations and how we deal with one another. Uh, sports is not exempt from that. Uh, whether it's John McEnroe talking about Serena, um, whether it's uh, John McEnroe had a good point. Not really, because I, I don't. I didn't agree with him. I, I, I don't but agree. When I heard the point and told him, I think. So, I think you no. Know, he said that she would be like three hundred in another circuit. I absolutely don't believe that. I think when he she put exceptional. I think when he put Serena everything. Williams is an exceptional tennis player. I think when he put everything into context, I totally I don't agree with that at all. And because women play only two out of best two out of three, so what? Men play three out of five, so what? Which means she's gonna have to extend the match at least another that's three the wins. That's the real one. That's the real. Women. Not that's, the real that's the real. Yes, she will. Yes, she would. She's not normal, bro. Do you know that's what I'm saying? Do you know how fast she served? Do you know how fast she served? What the serve is? Can I understand what it is? No, no, no. 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 Her ability is on par or better than more than half the men that play on the tennis so, circuit. Serena Williams is not beating the top 125 in the other 50 men. You know, why are more without sport in NBA? That's my the NBA. The NBA, the NBA, the NBA, NBA and tennis are so different. You want to go out and go to the NBA, the NBA, you can't compare the NBA to tennis, bro. No, the NBA did. The tennis is an individual sport. I get it. But Serena Williams is not beating the top 100 men. Why not? She's not. Why not? Why? Because it's a question. Why not? Because physically, she can't. Physically, you're going to have to play at the men's level. It's a different game. Okay. She's not a different. She's not an alien. No. I call her District 9. There's certain players that are District 9. LeBron is District 9. There's certain players that play in every league that are special. They're elite. Whether it's Odell Beckham, whether it's Ezekiel Elliott, Serena Williams is on that level. Let me say this. Do you have to go through all her stats? Let me say this. Nobody has a resume. No, Serena Williams is the greatest female athlete in the history of sports of all time. She's not normal, bro. She is the greatest female athlete. I give her all the credit, which I give her. I give her. I give her. <laughs> I want to sound like that. But I give, I give, I give Serena all her kudos, all her due. She is the greatest female athlete in any sport of all time. Mm-hmm. I don't disagree with that. But I think if you change the way the game is played, it affects her game a little bit. Okay. And yeah, maybe maybe a hundred is a little too high, you know. But she's not in the top ten. I say top ten. Top 10. But John Macro said that she won't, she won't John be Macro, the 300th person in the mess circuit. No, that's, 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 that's a lie. Yeah, that's being a lie. That's a lie. That's, that's being a lie, man. You just expect her right now. Yeah, that's being a lie. Like, stop it. That's all I'm saying. Okay. okay. But, going back to what we were saying, and my award definitely not supporting you. Well, we know that. You can't compare to him, We know that. I'm just saying that. It's funny that he's looking at me like a great <laughs> But, like, without Sir, the whole thing with the, with the, the NBA, it didn't have a house with because of his remarks and his feelings towards uh, African Americans. Our society and sports are directly relative to one another. So, the things that's been going on with Kaepernick, Kaepernick is just making people aware. His stance and what he's done, I appreciate it. I think that it was a great thing that was needed because it brings up this discussion. But if we're really going to truly institute change, instead of just boycotting the NFL, I think we need to institute change amongst ourselves, take responsibility within ourselves. If you want to, instead of boycotting, why don't you take more control of your, your economic or your financial responsibility and freedoms and start doing, creating and producing your own corporations and products that's going to affect change, that's going to make people do what you need them to do, instead of supporting uh, uh, entities that doesn't give back to you. I mean, we talked about it, man. You know, about the African American dollar and how long it stays within the community. Yeah. Every other community and race, whether it's, you know, Jewish I, people, you, you know, I've, I've said this before. Chinese, they, they're, they can, their dollars stay within the community, I've whether it's hours, right. days, weeks. No, I've, I've said this before. We don't support one another. I've said this within like eight seconds or something. I've I've African, African American women spend nine billion dollars a year on hair. Just hair. And hair products. Oh. Nine billion dollars a year on hair and hair products. Red options. Imagine if they just said, you know what, we're going to create it all. Yeah, our own, our own 
buy your own products. Keep it in, keep it within the game. You spend nine million dollars a year on hair and hair products. It's, it's so, it's, it's, I mean, this, this whole thing with happening is, it's great because it's definitely something that is needed. But I think that the energy needs to be well thought out. If you want to boycott, you know, I'm, if that's what, you, if that's what's needed to get this, get on us to start the conversation started and people to understand to get to the end game of being responsible for. You know, taking control of what's going on and demanding change, then great. But if it's just boycott the NFL and you're not really understanding the whole scope of how far of a reach this goes, like Dan said, you need if you're gonna boycott the NFL, you need to boycott everything associated with it and really go that gun ho, then you don't do it at all. If you're not willing to be uncomfortable, then you don't need to do it at all. And that, that's that's uh, that's the point. I don't understand how we say we're going to boycott something and make everybody else uncomfortable but us. But you know, but you know, big chunk of the people that are saying that they're boycotting are people I've never even seen have any interest in the NFL or watch football. How do you think how many people ever watch? What change are you really affecting? Because a big chunk of my timeline when we start saying that they're boycotting, I've never even seen them post. Anything you, you don't think they're, they're, they're not true fans. And I'll be, I'll be here. And I'll be here. Somebody tried to Super Bowl talk to the Nick when the Cowboys beat the Giants. So. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll now we'll see. We'll be there. We'll be, we'll be there for that. Hey, um, Martin, stay with us. All right. We're gonna take a quick little break. We're gonna take a quick little minute, minute and a half break. We'll wrap up the show. The last ten minutes of the show. Um, anything interesting in the NBA? Uh, I mean, so what are you talking about? Are you still in Cleveland? 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 Carmelo, uh, Carmelo, Chris Paul. Chris, Dwayne Wade is definitely leading the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see where he goes. You think he'll go back to Miami? I think he goes to Cleveland to play with LeBron. I think LeBron is that choice to go back to Miami. I think he's going back to Miami. LeBron's definitely going to Yeah, but the fact that Miami is playing one year with Cleveland to go try to win a chip is not a bad idea. But they could. They could do that, but then after that, where are they going? You're going to stay in Cleveland or are they going to go back to Miami? Go back I don't to think Miami. they're going back to Miami. Maybe they're going to LA? They That's what I'm saying. They're going to LA. They're going to the Lakers. I think, I think LeBron's going to end up finding his way to the Lakers. No, I think West will be Paul George in the end of that. That's why. Yeah. They'll, 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 they'll be the Lakers. Those are the they the Lakers. And LeBron and, and Wade go to LA. And I think, and I think that Magic, yeah. Magic, yeah. Magic wants to play with Dr. Magic wants PG. PG-13 and... Well, that's what we'll be in the, la- the Lakers next year. Uh, my cable was out for four days, so I didn't watch much baseball. Yeah, yeah it was the cable's out. Uh, my cable yeah, was out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me? Yeah. What was the last night? Yeah. No, we beat uh, Florida. Florida. No, we beat the Marlins. Yeah. Granny yeah. Man's gone. Yeah. 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 yeah, my cable and my internet were out for a few days. You know, the, you know, the, you know, the you know, know the games get back in the man. You know that? Yankees are five games out. Like the Yankees are out, man. The Yankees are five games out. But they were, they didn't have a chance at by the time they got to the series with you. And then you held them out. That's just not true. You held them out, bro. The New York Yankees, but not they look at y'all like easy. They look at y'all easy. Yankees won't make the playoffs. They won't. No. I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop with that. The Yankees are not making the playoffs. Okay. <laughs> Alright, inside the locker room, man, J, man, 1350 WNOK, and, and we are simulcast now on WSTC 1400 AM. Uh, in Stanford, man, we will be back in a second. Martine's going to stay with us. She's our guest host today, hanging out with us. Martine, we'll talk some other stuff when we come back, alright? Alright. Alright, we'll be back in a minute. Inside the locker room, man, J. Alright. Alright, inside the locker room, and Jay Martin, you still with us? I'm here. Alright, Martin's back with us. My man Jay's with us. We got our interns, Nick and Trinity. Nick and Trinity are going to do a show soon. Yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. We're going to let them do their own show. Now they're going to be on two radio stations. 
out would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna do a show soon, man. We're gonna let them touch the mic. Jay and I are giving them uh, some time to touch the mic. So we'll be there, yes. How's that? Great to interview us. Kick back and we observe. Kick back, they can they can talk to us for a little while. They were very nervous. You look at his face. He's a little nervous right now. Martine, what do you have? Oh, before I get to Martine, I'm sorry, Martine. Before I get to you, I want to say I want to say uh, condolences to the higher family. Uh, we, you touched on Charles a little bit, and we want to say condolences to the legendary Dick Gregory that passed away last night. Um, Dick Gregory is a hero and a monument. Social activists, everything to all of us, man. So he kept it real. Ted Gregory was the man. He kept it real. He was the truth. He didn't shoot a coat, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you go with it, All you got is wrong, he's wrong. Whether you're white, black, black, green, yellow, pink, black, 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 very, very, very important. Yes. Um, to the world, and to, to our community. So mm-hmm. we want to send our condolences out to the Gregory family. Martin, what's, what's going on? What, what, what does our rude publicity have going on? <laughs> well, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Before you tell your good news, Martin was named the social media manager for uh, a basketball league. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And, um, and Martin has started a blog. Yes. Yes.
fire out there. So, so, yeah, uh, so more information, so, uh, inbox, phone numbers, text, uh, you're looking to get uh, reserve a uh, uh, spot VIP, get us up to the committee, September 1st, uh, Roman Texas Society, we got that gas for you. Alright, it's sophomore year, trouble starts soon. Yep. Trinity senior year, Kobe starts soon. Yep. Trinity's a Bryant University Commit. Commit. Yeah. Congratulations again. Uh, again, congratulations to Milford. Yes. You know, you okay, man. Yes, thank you, Simon Cass. Yeah. Thank you for being in here with us today. The Simon Cass is really, really a big deal, man. You gotta have him do another show so we can take him. Oh, yeah, we gotta get him. He's gotta come back. He yeah. 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 Anthony and Jay inside the locker room more. Anthony and Jay in this corner. In this corner. We got in. We got in. In this corner. In this corner. We got Jay. We got Jay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Inside the locker room more, Anthony and Jay inside the locker room more, Anthony and Jay inside the locker room more, Anthony and Jay inside the locker room more, Anthony and Jay. Inside the locker room more, inside the locker room more.